your self-respect. This mindset gave an Australian filmmaker the idea to document three people selling their virginity. Turns out, Australia considered it prostitution and has banned them from filming it there. But lucky for them, good old America existed. And they're gonna go to Nevada, where everyone sells their virginity or contracts hepatitis. One or the two. But Phil, where did they find these people who wanted to lose their virginity? Well, they put up these posters of the Virgin Mary saying, hey, if you want to lose your virginity, I have $20,000. Which is kind of like a paper version of a creepy Craigslist ad. But a ton of people responded and they narrowed it down to two females and a male. And just from a good shopper's point of view, who is really going for the male virgins. I don't know if you've ever had sex with a virgin, ladies. But unless he empties the tank five hours prior, a virgin's pretty much faster than Superman the Ride. It's all, ooh, oh, ooh, oh, it's done. The virgins who do not consider themselves prostitutes are getting $20,000 plus 90% of their sale price, which, once again, not a prostitute, it's a documentary. I think the people taking part in this and selling their bodies really can sum up their mindset with this quote. Technically, I'm just selling my virginity. It's not like I'm gonna make a regular thing of selling my body, so I don't really see it as being a prostitute. However you wanna perceive the reality of the situation. Side note, if I was a prostitute, every time I went in, I would say cha, and every time out, ting, cha, ting. But guys, that's got me wondering, how much would you sell your virginity for? And if you're not bitastic, how much for the same sex? Eh? Let me know when the Comments below. And of course, my name is Philip DeFranco, and you have been filled in. Chucky.